today I am going to be showing you how to clean install Windows 10. First, your computer needs to be off so that you can plug this USB into the USB port, preferably USB 2.0 because, because there's no uh, hardware issues during the installation. Now that we have the USB plugged in, it is time to turn on the computer and go into the BIOS. I'm going to hit delete multiple times to access it. Now I'm going to go into boot menu. This is an Asus motherboard, so depending on your BIOS, it'll be kind of different. Now there's the UEFI Kingston Data Traveler, and then there's just the Kingston Drive itself. We want the UEFI one because it boots directly to the thumb drive. We're going to choose Windows 10 64-bit. Because who uses 32-bit anyway? Okay, so at the setup screen, you will want to make sure you have the right language, time and currency, and the keyboard input, which I do. Click Next, and click Install Now. Now, here we will just put in the product key later, so I'm going to click, I don't have to, I don't have a product key. And here's the cool part, if you have a Windows 10 Pro installed on the USB, you can either pick Pro or Home, or basically it's an all-in-one so you can either choose Pro and Home. We're going to choose Pro in this case. Now you'll notice that it says uh, October 30th, 2015. That is the first major update that came out after Windows 10's debut. And the reason I'm using this is because uh, the installation process is so much better than the current one. All right, so upgrade will let you upgrade the operating system if you're running something older like Windows 7 or Windows 8. But because this is uh, a clean install, we're going to do custom. All right, so you'll notice that there are two drives. One's 238.5, which is a 256 gigabyte SSD. And here's 5.5 uh, terabytes, which is uh, technically a 6 terabyte hard drive. Uh, if you're installing on an SSD... I would strongly recommend um, either making sure you know which hard drive you're going to install to or disconnect any other drives so you don't confuse yourself. But I know that the 256 gigabyte is the SSD, so I'm just going to click Next. And away it goes. Okay, so getting files ready for installation took a while, but... This is what it looks like after it does that. So the first three are done. Now it's installing updates. And this shouldn't take too long. And it didn't. So it is in the process of finishing up. And now we can restart the computer. Um, when you are doing this, do make sure that you have the Windows 10 Media USB plugged in at all times. Okay, so after that you'll notice that it wants you to connect to the Wi-Fi. This is because the motherboard that I have has Wi-Fi built in to the system. So I'm just going to skip this step. 
and um, I'm going to use Express Settings. If you don't want any spying on you, you can customize the settings and turn all the features off. Now because we do not have an internet connection, I'm going to uh, create a local account. Click Next. I have older versions of Windows 10 ISO files. They will be in the link in the description below. I like using older versions to reinstall Windows or clean install because it's easy to use rather than the current version. Okay, now the installation is done and we can safely remove our Windows 10 Media USB. Thank you for watching. Now, while you are on your computer, a lot of you tend to have problems with it, such as slow performance, a lot of viruses, anything like that. Before you take it to the repair shop or consider buying a new one, come to my website, remotetechassistance.com. While you're there, please download my seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It is free, it is simple, and it is also safe. Also, if you do not want to look at the PDF, come to my Remote Tech Assistance channel on YouTube and watch the secrets there. They are also as simple as the PDF file. Just go to remotetechassistance.com. There is a link in the description below.